What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over the new exotic hunter helmet, the ATS-8 Arachnid helmet, or the Arachnid for short. But before I get started on this video, this is the last video that I am going to be editing still, while it's still being 2014. I'm editing this at 11.30 at night, my time, so this is the last video that I edit in 2014 happy freaking new year's everyone happy new year's and i hope your guys's new year comes together nicely and the way you have it planned perfectly i don't care what it is i hope it comes together unless it's some kind of really twisted and evil plot but for real thanks everyone for the support that you've given me for last year and for now and for the future as well just to let you guys know your support is appreciated and I will keep bringing you guys the videos. But well, anyways, this is the last video that I edited in 2014, so I thought to get back to my hunter. My hunter is what started me in Destiny. It's what I started with in Destiny, and it's what got me to where I'm at in Destiny with all the videos that I've been able to get you guys. Thanks to the hunter, the hunter's been able to do that. But if I would have chose any other character, it would have been thanks to that character. So no hard feelings to the Titan and Warlock if they feel left out. You're both sexy too. But anyways, I thought it'd be a nice video to start the new year. Anyways, to get this started, the new Arachnid helmet for the Hunter is actually pretty looked down. You know, everyone says, whoa, Rifle, you got this helmet. It looks awesome. Thanks, man. But really, this helmet isn't all that great. I mean, yes, it does have its perks, which it has two different statistics it can give. Like, for instance, my helmet is giving discipline and strength and strength as we know, can increase the chances of you having your throwing knife to use again, and the discipline increases your chances of using a grenade again. So there's the upside. It does give two perks in one helmet. One of the most special things about this helmet is you can zoom in just like you would with a sniper, with the golden gun. Yes, a hand cannon. You can zoom in with a hand cannon just like you were zooming in with a sniper. That's how far of a line of sight you will have. And in my opinion, I really didn't see much use with it. I could see this coming in handy though around like destroying oracles and stuff because the golden gun works nicely at destroying oracles in the raid. But anyways, the perks on this is like the blade. Causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Which in my opinion, all these perks on this helmet kind of tie together in a way. For instance, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, so while you use your grenade, you now have a faster chance to getting back your throwing knife. And this helmet gives strength, well at least the helmet that I got gave me strength, so it tied together nicely with this perk. The next perk, Ashes to a Set, ties in with your super energy. When you kill an enemy with a grenade, it actually replenishes a little bit of your super energy. And lastly but not least, the Arachnid Sensorium. This is the perk that allows you to zoom in a lot. And if you guys notice, on the helmet you have tons of eyes, so it makes perfect sense on why this special to this exotic helmet allows you to zoom in. You have better accuracy just because of, look at all those eyes. Of course this helmet's going to make them have some crazy accuracy. The funny part is, few spiders actually have good eyesight. They rely instead on touch, vibration, and taste. And this helmet does say arachnid, so it ties in with spiders, that's what's ironic about it. But I bet the spiders that do have good eyesight have extremely good eyesight. So I think that's pretty cool how the perk ties in with the helmet. Anyways, to get into a little bit more detail with this helmet, a lot of people actually look down throwing knives. And throwing knives are actually not that bad, especially in PvP. And you can make your throwing knives have fire damage, which causes damage over time as well. And that can cause some serious problems to your opponents in PvP. And not to mention on PvE enemies as well. But I'm just saying preferably in PvP with throwing knives because that fire damage can disrupt how your opponent's seeing and it can get annoying. Honest opinion, I use the throwing knife just as much as I use my grenade. But I guess it all depends on how you use your hunter and if you are even a hunter. But if you're looking at this video, I'm just assuming in my head that you want to know things about the hunter. And I'm trying to give you guys my best advice. Sure, there's going to be people here that don't even have a hunter and just watching the video just to watch it. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. But hopefully the ones that do have a hunter, this video ends up helping you guys out if you do get this helmet. Helps finalize your decision. My overall opinion about this helmet, it's not really that great. Sure, it's an exotic, and it does have its perks. You know, the light, the discipline, the strength. But the actual perks, I was expecting a little bit more. I mean, have you guys seen the Titan Gauntlets, the Ruined Wings? Those have awesome perks, and they're one of the new exotics. 
and I guess I just was expecting something a little better than just zooming in. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video. I tried to explain this helmet as best as I could. And if you guys get your hands on it, and if you guys already have this helmet, well, it is a way to get the 32. But in my opinion, I would aim for a different exotic hunter helmet. More on the lines if you are a gunslinger, because this helmet is meant for gunslingers, I suggest the additional shot in the golden gun, which is the symbiote exotic hunter helmet. Thanks everyone for checking out my video, and I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. And best wishes to everyone that is checking out this video and listening right now. Best wishes to your, you guys' new year. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over all 35 new ships in the Dark B 